so too far. Oh, <laughs> so welcome back to uh, my YouTube channel. As I mentioned in the video last time, I am a little bit injured at the moment. So I'm going to take the time now to explain a little bit about that, what I've done, how long the rehab is, and yeah, just a bit, a little bit about what's to come. I have uh, employed the assistance of uh, my friend, Mr. Spine, uh, and I'm going to use this to show you what I've done. So obviously this is the spine, this is your pelvis, it's where your head goes. Hopefully it's a bit more attached than that. What I have done is I have got something called an L5 pars fracture which is this little bit down here. I don't know if you can see just across there. Now this sounds very bad, and to be honest, it's not that good, but it is an injury I've had before, and uh, I'm sort of a bit more used to the rehab than doing it the first time. One of the questions you're probably gonna be asking yourself, Matt, how the hell did you break your back? Um, and the truth is, I have no idea. I actually, uh, I have no idea basically. I did it around Christmas time sometime. Uh, I was, I remember racing in um, Lake Placid and I had a really bad like sore back for about a week, but doing the type of training we do, uh, like all the lifting and things, that's not too unusual to have, a, especially with me, not too unusual to have a, a sore back. Yeah, I didn't really think anything of it. I thought I just annoyed it a little bit. And then uh, carried on racing with the season, ends up, obviously winning world championships and then came back and uh, we decided to scan my back just to make sure there was nothing going on and it turns out there was a lot going on. So right now I have not been training properly. Uh, I haven't been off too long. I've been not training for about six weeks, uh, doing some, starting to do some small rehab stuff now, getting back into it, starting to lift some weights. We're getting there, slowly getting there. I'm looking forward to uh, being able to lift some proper weights because it's really, really boring at the moment. So how long am I gonna be doing this uh, bit rubbish training for? Um, I'm probably gonna be like this for the next few months. Building back into it slowly, slowly picking it back up. Don't worry, I've, uh, I've got a few titles to defend this year, so I will be back uh, stronger and fitter than ever by the time the next season comes around. And I'm gonna be taking you guys with me, showing you the, the progressions I'm making uh, as I'm getting stronger, as I'm getting faster, as I'm getting ready to go back out racing. Uh, as I promised on this channel, <laughs> Oh no, the camera's fallen down. Oh no. <laughs> Stay still. All right, are you back? Are we back? <laughs> that was great. Yeah, that's great. Um, so, as promised on this channel, uh, we're going to be doing some exciting things and one of them is actually today, I'm going to be doing a head-to-head -head challenge with uh, a Paralympian. Uh, he's a wheelchair fencer and uh, I'm really excited for this one, so let's go and see what happens. <laughs> So here we are arriving at the venue for my first ever challenge on my YouTube channel. I've invited Oliver Lamb Watson, two-time Paralympic medalist and fellow petrol head to come down and race me at the F1 Arcade in St Paul's, London. We thought this would be a great idea to go head to head because of his mega fast reflexes from fencing and my racing experience from skeleton. I think this is going to be a great battle, so join us for the first ever head to head.
When did the lights go? Mine are... I got no lights! I don't even know where to go! So, Ollie, we went to the F1 uh, uh, simulator in St. Paul's this morning. We did. A um, long time ago now. It was, uh, how was it? When, how did you find it? Do you know what? Yeah, it was good fun. Um, apart from when I lost. <laughs> it was good fun. And you know what? Like, apart from the video, I'd actually do it again. Oh, 100%. Yeah, 100%. Um, do you find it easy or quite hard? Do you know what I was worried about? Um, I'm Simon Para athlete, so my left leg is uh, a bit bent. Um, and uh, yeah, it doesn't straighten out properly, so I can't usually press the brake on these kinds of simulators, which is obviously a problem. Um, but actually, it's great because it was uh, there was no divider between the acceleration and the brake like normal, so I could just switch between the pedals from my right leg. Great. Yeah, no, I mean I loved it as well. I think I had um, such a good time. I mean I love this sort of stuff. This stuff is like sort of my, my bread and butter, like learning things quickly, racing, following lines is literally everything I do. Oh yeah, to be honest. We'll have to find a challenge that's uh, a bit more even because I feel like the, the racing is literally my... Like, Coming soon, part yeah, two. Exactly. I'm going to have a go at fencing soon. So, massive thank you to Ollie for uh, coming to be in one of my videos, being my first ever head-to-head. -head. And an extra special thank you for coming to meet us late at night to answer a few questions that I had for him. Make sure you keep an eye out for him. He's got a few competitions coming up. He's going to Warsaw for a fencing World Cup soon. So make sure you keep an eye out for that and go follow him. I'll put his Instagram and things like that in the description below. So, on to the next video. I've actually just finished it. I'm still, uh, I'm actually coming to do some recovery. I'm still blown away by it. I'm going against professionals at what they do and shock I got destroyed uh, I'll give you a quick sneak peek now of what's to come stay tuned and I hope you enjoy the video not gonna lie I'm actually quite nervous for this last head to head kind of a bit more of a level playing field actually that's a lie it was more my forte but today I'm going against pros in their own arena in in what they do every day so yeah I can't wait to be schooled by some 16 year old kid basically. I'm so out of my depth right now, this is insane. I have no idea what I'm doing. So far, the biggest thing I've, I've noticed is... Uh, what's the worst one? Oh. <laughs>